Hmm. You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynold Dralis, will be allowed access. Damn. The culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. I'd tell hmm. you more, but frankly, I don't know who you are, so I'm not sure that I can trust you with that sort of information. Yeah? We'll see. That class guy, see him. What a great story. Ugh. You're wasting your breath. Really now. You're such a charmer. Get mm -hmm. away from me. Oh, please. Goodness. What can I say? Remarkable. Hey, how's that? I suppose there's no harm in telling you what happened. Word is bound to get around Bruma anyway. Mm -hmm. Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire. Or was. If it wasn't for Rainiel Dralis, we may never have uncovered the truth. But let me explain. Mm -hmm. In the last week or so, we've found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. Hey, that's suspicious. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. Vampire probably thought no one would miss them. Hmm. Luckily for us, Raynal arrived in town. He said he was a vampire hunter, so we asked for his help. He tracked the vampire hmm, to this house. That seems awfully convenient. When he entered the place around noon, Brayden was sleeping. He was able to slay him at hmm. that point. Luckily, Brayden's wife wasn't home. Poor thing. She didn't even know her husband was infected. We did a follow-up investigation, and it's true that no one recollects seeing Brayden out in the daylight. He's only been spotted at night. Hmm. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell you. So, you can see we really don't need any help, but thanks for the offer. Well, I'm impressed. Just... It only took him a day to track the vampire down. I guess that's why he does it for a living. Hmm. I'm free to question anyone in town. They shouldn't give you too much trouble. I you can't believe that. this is happening. Please, please, I need your help. My husband was no vampire. It's ridiculous. No one will listen to me. Hey, please, calm down. I want to help. Forgive me. I loved my husband dearly. And to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. This is all happening so fast. Tell me what happened. I came home only just a few hours ago. I found the door open and my brain dead. Standing over him was a Dunmer. Mm -hmm. I screamed and ran out into the street. Some city watch were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. I heard the Dunmer identify himself as Rainil Dralus. He said he was a vampire hunter and that Braden was his mark. The guards seemed to know about Rainil, and after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. The guards mm. sent for Carius, who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, Rainil convinced Carius that Braden was a vampire. Evidence look bad for Brain. Why did he never go out during the day? Well, of course it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. Hmm, that's a good point. And another thing. The guards are making a big deal out of no one seeing Braden out in the daylight. Well, of course that's the case. Hmm? He works at night and has to sleep during the day. Ah, make okay. Make him a vampire. It's all that Raynal character. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Mm -hmm. Of course, he says he's never been here. Look, there isn't much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. Um. I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. What can I do for you today? Can you tell me of Raynald I usually don't give out that kind of information, especially to people I don't know. Well, I'm listening. You can get to know me. 
whatever you want. Blah, blah, blah. What a bore. Sure. Was that supposed to be a compliment? I have no... <laughs> I accept. I have... Mm. You're a... That's a bit excessive. Don't okay, you Okay, so now... I usually don't give up. Okay, Please. well, maybe... For me? Thanks. Now? Raynell's staying in the last room down the hall upstairs. Here's the key. I always liked Brayden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to mm -hmm. the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. Uh huh. Hmm. Hey. I've discovered a small journal in Raynell's room at the inn. It seems it was part of a group of adventurers who uncovered an artifact of some sort from the aged runes. Now agreed to test the artifact in a cave until more research could be done about. Each of them took a key to the chest and was secured in. Two other members of the group were Braylon and someone named Gilborn. We find out more about Gilborn to confirm my suspicion of my old may be able to help. Gelborn? That's odd that you should mention that name. Raynal told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said he tracked Gelborn down and killed him. Oh. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Raynal and his so-called accomplishment. Hmm. And nothing else I can tell you about him. He comes and goes and doesn't talk to people much. Oh, you're back. So, any new revelations in your... Mm, investigation? Mm-hmm. I'll warn you about one thing. I understand you wanting to help Berlin by checking up on Raynal. We have it mm -hmm. on good authority from officials in a neighboring city that Reno is what he says he is. So I'm not sure what you're trying to prove. I am only I allowing have this. you to do this investigation, and I use that term very loosely, because Erlene is so distraught. How do you know about that? Ah, oh, too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. <laughs> very well. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Gelleborn was killed by Reno not too long ago. Gelleborn was a vampire as well, obviously. I disagree. What do you mean, you disagree? That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? I have Gelleborn's journal. I, I don't know what to say. It all makes perfect sense now. Why else would Raynal have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skingrad? I heard no mention of a key either. It must have been removed by Raynal from Brayden's body before we arrived. To think <laughs> that two innocent men were killed, and that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I... I'm speechless. I will rouse the guard and begin a search for him in the city. Meet me at Olev's Tap and Tack in one hour. One hour later. Whatever I can do. Oh, hello. Wait, Say that help. guy if you won't get away with this. What the? Just before I arrived here, I received a report from one of our scouts watching the roads. <laughs> Raynal was spotted heading west out of Bruma. The scout tried to follow, but lost him in the mountains. The only cave to the west that comes close to the one described in Gelleborn's journal is Boreal Stone Cave. That must be where he's headed. Okay. You must get there before he acquires whatever artifact is being kept there and makes his escape. I'm keeping the city guard in Bruma as Raynal doesn't know we're after him. If he sees a guard, he may panic and run. You're my only hope at the moment. Please, you have my authorization to do everything you can to bring him to justice. If he won't surrender, hey. I think you know what to do. <laughs> Hurry. I fear you have a day at the most to stop him. Please hurry. Raynal may make a break. Hey, there, and what? Man, no get away with these. Armor. What the heck happened? Here. Yeah. Mm. Aha. Wasn't too hard to find.
Congratulations. Hello. I had a feeling you would catch on sooner or later. Leaving that journal behind was a stupid mistake on my part. I How saw you, know you enter Olaf's tap and tap before I could get there, and I knew oh, that I had to sneak out the rumor somehow. It was only a matter of time before you or Carius figured it out. No matter. After I've killed you, I won't need my vampire hunter ruse any longer. You will not surrender then? Certainly not. I'm surprised Carius didn't send the entire city watch up here. But then I would have seen that coming, I suppose. Exactly. I expected to lay low for a while and then be on my way. So again, I underestimated you. This leaves me with little choice. Either I fight you now and have a chance at freedom, or I surrender and rot in a city dungeon. I prefer the chance for freedom. It's your last yes, chance. Yes, I suppose it is. Well then, we've talked enough. Only one of us will walk out of here alive this day. Good luck. Right, but you know what you're doing. Okay. That's the best I can do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, metal boots. Those are fine, so might as well. Opening the warlock chest with all three keys, I discovered the artifact to be an emerald. Seems fairly unmarkable, and I'm unsure of its function. I think I should bring that to Ellen and see what she wants me to do with it. I was praying for your swift return. What news do you bring? Yes, I remember Braden mentioning that mm. name once. He was part of the brotherhood he had created with Raynil. The uh, real guess? I knew I'd recognize Raynil. I think when I first met Braden many, many years ago, he introduced me to him. Huh. They were part of some sort forgot. of brotherhood. They would roam Cyrodiil in search of legendary treasures and the like. The only reason he stopped doing that is because we got married and he wanted to settle down. I'm afraid, thanks to Raynal, that time is lost. Anyway, Long ago, good. I made a promise to Braden. I promise to never reveal to anyone what I'm about to reveal to you now. However, okay. well. because you've avenged his unjust death, I feel that Braden would understand why I'm breaking that pact. Braden told me about this amulet when they first brought it home from whatever distant land it came from. He never really trusted anyone else in the group, and before he secured the treasure in that cave, he had a special enchantment placed upon it. The magic masks the true identity of the item. All it takes is a simple command word, and the amulet would be restored to its true state. The word Dio no. He always feared this day would come. Uh -huh. He left me knowledge of that word in the event that he died, and I came into possession of the keys. If the other members of Braden's group were still alive, and I on my deathbed, only then would I pass the knowledge on to them. If you'd give me that amulet, I would like to show you what you've recovered. Okay. Thank you. Here it is. I will now speak the word. Brother. Here is the amulet back. It's as beautiful as mm -hmm. it was the day I remember seeing it long ago. I want you to keep it, as I have no use for this anymore. I'm certain that's what hey. I want. And I'm certain that's what Braden would want. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the amulet helps keep you safe on whatever roads you may travel. I'm glad he's right. dead. Actually, I'll... I know that's a horrible <laughs> thing to say, but I think you understand. Justice has been done. 